Welcome to Profit in Stocks 101 and this is going to be a quick lesson on how to determine the Darvis box that we use for trading which is the highest high and the lowest low. Um, a lot of times I use Yahoo Finance uh, to, and go to just the historical prices and look, look across there and see the highest high and the lowest low. But this time I'm going to use the actual um, stock chart which I think might be a little bit easier for some of you to determine uh, the highest high and the lowest low and see exactly what uh, Darvis was talking about as far as a, a stock trading in a certain range um, to determine what we call a base so this is an open high low close um, chart for uh, ALXN and if you will see <clears throat> what we're talking about is as you move the cursor over this is a three month chart so you'll see where it says uh, open high low close so basically on this day on July 27th the the high was set at $109.96 and as you go across you can see the next day it went to 10990 so it didn't make a new high so this would be the high uh, set at 10996 and then you can see as the stock goes along it forms a base so we go, I usually count off eight days Darvis was counting off seven days. I added an additional day to let it form a base just to be a little more patient with the stock. So this is day one, day two, day three, day four. And by the chart you can see that the lowest low is 101. And then day five, day six, day seven, day eight. So as you can see it did not make a new high during that eight days preceding or, or following this day and this was the lowest low of hundred and one dollars so our trading method that we use the Darvis box trading method shows that the highest high would be a hundred and ninety six hundred and nine ninety six and the lowest low would be a hundred one dollars so that's where we would set our, our any any buy points based on the highest high and the lowest low being that 101 so I usually set my stop loss at 95% of $101 and as you can see just going right along it finally broke through and now it's going to start uh, forming a new uh, a new high we have a new high right now of 1106 today it did not break out it, it, it made a high of 1104 so it did not make a new high so currently this would be day one uh, and now we're hoping that our stop I hope that the stock continues to go higher but if not I'll continue to count eight days this is day one I'll count, uh, count seven more days and uh, that will be we will determine our lowest low uh, from that point unless the stock pushes above the 111.06 and then we will just continue to um, you know wait and see as the stock forms a new base so hopefully it goes into the 120 range and forms a new base um, and we'll be able to make I'll be able to move my stop loss up well above the, the my purchase price or my last purchase price on this stock so that's how we're trading it now one thing also is your your lowest low can also be in that day that it makes the highest high so currently we do have a low of $108.12 so that, that could potentially be the lowest low if it was in a real tight trading range over the next eight days and did not go to a new high and did not go lower than the 108.12 then 108.12 would actually be the, the highest high and lowest low so uh, that, that's how you determine whether a stock is um, uh, what the trading range is for the Darvis box so you can tell whether your uh, what your highest high is and what your lowest low is so uh, subscribe to my blog uh, subscribe to uh, my YouTube page and you'll get updates as I continue this training